Today we're going to be talking about rhythmic trader and order defaults in the order book. Down here in the bottom left hand corner there's a little link looking button that says show order defaults. When I click on that it's going to pull up my default settings for the different types of orders I can execute. On the left hand side you'll see stop and limit or market radio buttons and the same on the right hand side with if touched. When I select these and I choose limit whenever I enter a stop order it's going to do a stop limit. However, if I were to click on market, it's of course going to do a stop market. And the same is true for if touched. If I do market, it's going to be market if touched. If I choose limit, it'll be limit if touched. On market orders, if I unselect this all actions confirm, if I say I don't want to confirm, then when I try and enter a market order, oh, got to turn off my max show quantity real quickly. When I try and enter a market order, it's just going to automatically put that order on. With a limit, it's still going to ask for confirmation as it is a limit order. We have duration, which basically specifies the duration of this order. Day, of course, is going to cancel the order at the end of the session for whatever instrument you're currently trading on. IOC is immediate or cancel, which basically states that if any portion of the tr order isn't filled immediately when you place it, then it's just going to cancel. And GTC is good till cancel, meaning you manually have to cancel that order. Finally, we have max show quantity. And if you use this, you basically say how much you want to show the exchange that you're trying to trade. So if I'm trying to trade 100 contracts, I can only show 10 at any given time if I use max show quantity. It'll basically put 10 orders on a an order for 10 on the exchange. And once that's filled, it'll do another order for 10 and so forth until I get to the actual quantity that I'm trading. Once you've finished selecting your order defaults, you can simply click hide order defaults or leave it up. It doesn't matter. And every time you try and enter an order, it's going to go according to your order defaults that you've just set up. 